Alright, flurs. Uh. <laughs> This week in Grow Bio. Nice. That's a good one. I like that. Hello. Welcome to the Grow Bio show. Here at Grow Bio, we are an equal opportunity employer, which is why today we're excited to once again tell you about the Grow Bio internship this summer. Yep. Come intern with us. Please. If you're talented, we would love to know why you think that. <laughs> Send us your resume. We're taking an open application call from all backgrounds. We do want to see people from the video and community engagement background, communications design, etc. But we're open to you. So hit us up. Drop us a line at uh, yeah, Shane at grow.bio. That's right. What else is going on? Oh, you gave that workshop? Right, the yeah. workshop. There was a workshop that I virtually gave FIT this week on what it's like to work with living materials. And if you're interested in having your school participate in a workshop, drop us a line at the same email. Same email. That's right. yep. So we had some great posts on the forum this week. We've got a post from Mary Jana, where she talks about coloring the mycelium while it's still alive. And I, I really liked the picture she posted here. So she's got that one with the embedded sequence that grew, the mycelium grew into the embedded sequence. And it, it kind of looks like fish scales. They, they call that bedazzling. Bedazzling. Mm. She's bedazzling the mm. mushrooms. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. They look fantastic. It reminds me of that, um, what is that book with the fish that's like rainbow color? Oh my god, my mom just to read it to me. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. uh, <laughs> the rainbow it. fish? That's the one. Yeah. What's oh that? my god, I, that was my childhood. Well, thanks, Mary Jana, for reminding me of my childhood. That's great. Oh, Ted R, fantastic post. I really like how he highlighted, you know, he's got the pros and the cons of each technique that he tried out. Yeah, that was So great. it looks like he tried the regular square planter form, and then he tried out some planter pots he had around the house. And I think he was experimenting with different ways to improve the uh, square planter concept. That was really cool to see your feedback. Thank you. Oh, here's a Okay, so he says, at the end of the cooking, some of the tops of the forms came out a little yellow. Mm -hmm. Did I just bake it a little too long? What would you say to him? How would you... Well, if you scroll down the page, you can see that I already did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, my theory was that, you know, you can discolor it when you, you know, burn it, essentially, as with most things. Um, I mean, the mycelium itself can turn yellow while it's growing as a stress response, but yeah, I would say that it just cooked too long. It's like you're going for a medium rare, not a well done. So like we said in last week's video, we are working on updating all of the growth form tutorials that we put out in the past. Before we put them out on the learn page, but now we're putting them out, updating them, and putting them on the forum. This week we put out the found objects tutorial. In this tutorial, we show you how you can just pick random objects from around your house, around your town, garage sales, whatever, and use them as growth forms for your next mycelium project. So you could take this coffee cup, this put some stuff in it, a mason jar, put some stuff in it, uh, that MacBook computer behind you, put some stuff in it, whatever you got, a wrench, a shoe, put some stuff in it. <laughs> okay, you get it. In the tutorial, Grant will show you how to use a takeout container and a lampshade that he found on the side of the road. Check it out. Boom, bam. Boom, bam, bing, bop, boom. Boom, bop, pow. <laughs> Justin Morris Morano, one of our Grow Bio family members, came up last week to show us what he's working on in industrial design school. He came to show us his super cool sunglasses. Mm -hmm. He wanted to know if he could grow them out of mycelium. And the same thing we extend to Justin, uh, you know, come up and show your project and we'll talk for a bit, we'll extend to you. If you're working on something cool and you want some, you know, hands-on support, we're here for you. Yep. So drop us a line. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places. 